Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and this uh, video is how to put an electric guitar pickup in a banjo. And if you look here, you can see the pole pieces right here sticking out. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, I'm going to show you three different setups in a banjo on how I put the pickups in. This one you can see right there where the pole pieces are. And then right in here, you can see where the pickup is. And it's complicated, but I'll explain how I did that. This banjo over here is the banjo I play out all the time. And I just uh, put the pickup right in here. Actually, I could take that right out of there. I'll show you how I did that. But it goes from the pickup into my volume control. And then it comes out of there and it goes to my output jack into the amplifier. Now this banjo is my third banjo, my emergency banjo. And I have the just a regular guitar pickup. You put in an acoustic guitar and I put a, a hose clamp, a radiator clamp on it just to hold it up against the drum. Same thing, it goes into my volume control right here. And from the volume control, it comes and it goes to my output jack, if you can see that, right there. And uh, I'll start explaining a little more how I did it. Okay, we're going to take this pickup out of the banjo. We're going to look in the back of it right here. And the only thing I have holding this pickup is I just have it shimmed up. I just have a piece of sponge, a cardboard, and the pickup is just basically inside the drum. There's my pickup right there. And there's the holes inside the drum. So then when I want to put the pickup in, I just put it right in there. I kind of line it up where I want to be. And I look and there's my pull pieces right there. Oops, there's my pole pieces right there. And that is how I put a pickup in. I put my sponge in and my shim back inside there. And that's basically how it goes in and it stays in. The sponge just kind of keeps it in place and uh, doesn't really affect the sound much at all. Now I'm just going to use an old drum head here and I'm going to use a, an old pickup here and this old pickup has uh, the pole pieces in it. They give you an allen wrench and you can adjust them up or down. I don't know why they just don't use screwdrivers and make it easy but they don't. What I learned to do is I get this packaging tape and I cut the packaging tape and I put it down there where my pickups gonna go like that and I always make sure this drum head is on the banjo for at least a month before I do something like this and this is just a demonstration and then I get my pickup and just let's say these are the strings and I find out where my hole is going to go. Right there will be my first one. And I get a soldering iron like this. And I burn right through there with that hole like that. That is my first hole. So then I can see that coming right through like that. And then I go to my next one right there and I burn that hole through with my soldering iron and I just keep going like that you see them sticking through until I get them all in so when you get them all in then you would adjust them up to your strings. Now I got my pickup in, let's say. I, I make sure that this banjo is stretched out real good before I go burning into this. You don't want to do it 
off the banjo. You wait till it's on. And then my pull pieces, I adjust them to equalize my instrument uh, right here where the strings are instead of trying to do it through an equalizer. Works real good. Uh, what I do is if you're going to learn about electronics, this is one of my favorite books. It is called uh, Guitar Electronics for Musicians. That's where I got all my information. The pickup I use was a Schuler, and this is uh, this book is a Stuart McDonald, and they used to have them. I don't think they got them anymore, but that was the pickup I used right there. It was a Schuler humbucker pickup, and what I want to say about humbucker pickups is uh, when you learn how to put them on properly. You could turn them into a single coil with a little switch, which is right here. I got a little switch. That'll turn it into a single coil. That'll turn it into a humbucker. And another thing I got to tell you is when you're putting these things in, a humbucker, you notice I got aluminum foil all over the top of this. I get it at the car store. And that's what you call shielding. Anytime you cut a wire, and you solder it and you black paper it, or not black paper, black tape, and then you tape it up where it's not touching. You always have to use metal foil to shield it. Otherwise, you're going to get radio waves, you're going to get humming, you're going to get buzzing, and you have to ground it again to your strings. I always use these kind of uh, outputs. And on this banjo, something last thing and very interesting is. I just had it come from the pickup into here. And this is an actual volume control right here. You see it? And I use that uh, to get a little more control out of it. And this is my tone. This is my volume. This is my good instrument. But I hope I, I this is my method. I learned, I've done this. I've been doing this for 25 years and it's great to walk around stage with it. So the point is, uh, it's all set up now for uh, playing through the amplifier. And because I play banjo and fiddle, I play the banjo and fiddle and I just mark it up here with an ink pen. What my settings are and I know it always, uh, it doesn't change and I play my electric guitar through the main uh, channel. But the thing, the thing is, you can go anywhere you want it. And it works. So uh, that's my idea. I hope uh, you got something out of that. Thanks for watching.